hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys doing i hope you guys are fine i hope you guys are okay so uh continuing the course of uh blue team operations and tools today we are going to take a overview on wireshark okay so uh to use wireshark i always like to use my nick on in promiscuous mode so how can we do that i sudo ip link all right set ens33 i know already my nickname the nick of the name of the network card right promisc on yes all right so if you don't know the name just type if config and then we have here the name right it's already activated but you don't have to do it here because we just could call wireshark and on wireshark you can do capture options and then here we have enable promiscuous mode on all interfaces so it's already activated or not i could just activate here and then start capturing right so first let's start my windows 10 machine uh, generate some track and I will start capturing all the network remembering all the network um, HP web okay, so, yeah. uh, let's admin admin of course it's not, but well let's download something. Firefox download. Download Firefox. It's downloading. So yeah. Alright, download it. Let's download here. Yeah. All right. So just back to more wireshark. We're not going to use this for now. So here we got something. Let's stop it. Well, Wireshark, it's very good for get packet from the all network, okay? So here, the overview we are going to take now, it's like the menus we have, not all of them, but some, right? It's like uh, we have the options to import and export, okay? We can import file and we can export packets, example. Uh, also on edit we have a preference that we can move some stuff okay and in the view we can activate or enable or disable the three views right here and <clears throat> we can do it again but I'm not going to do that and go we can go to the next package we can find so for some package like here Go to the next one or the pack before all right and well we have go to the pack to up to down and then we have here on capture we have the options as i showed you guys already and probably you guys know much more than that um well here we have the output 
we can save file example okay and in analyze analyze we can we have the display filters filter with macros or expression applies filter and many others we have follow okay we are going to check it in a second and then we have the statistics uh, here we have the endpoints let me show you guys uh, in e statistics we can take capture file properties resolved addresses protocol hierarchy um, conversations endpoints the endpoints are the device obviously the size of the packets all right and the graphs the service response time and we have many other uh, protocols here we can also get information from VoIP calls okay also from wireless services like a Bluetooth or wireless okay so just to show you guys what we did before on Windows 10 downloaded Firefox and made all the traffic we're going to filter here HTTP right. here and we have all the HTTP traffic we filter okay Uh, it's yeah, it's bugging again. It was like that last week. And let me save it here. It's fine. Huh. Anyways, we have the, the facts here. Why is acting like that? Yeah, here. So here we have all the traffic, all right, in HTTP we got from the network. Uh, we have search gates, we have like encrypted traffic, okay. And let me see something here user info. Yeah, probably it's like right here, but here. Just to guys, for you see, we got the admin username and admin password for the website we entered in Windows 10. But there is something else because uh, we can follow like TCP stream. Okay. And on TCP stream, we have all the information from the header of the connection. Okay. Like you must log in, obviously. And then here we have all the content encrypted. You see, encoded. So. Normally, when it's a payload or when it's a malware on your network, there is not going to be a domain name, but there is going to be a host IP address. On this IP address, uh, we can we can see that we are if we are talking with some real stuff or is a hacker on the network. If it's a malware or is a legit traffic, all right. So here also we get the username and password on the header. Okay, uh, the host here probably is going, was going to be is going to be like an IP if they're a malware. Okay, let me close here. Also, we can go to the endpoint as I told you guys before. In the endpoint solution, if there was any kind of um, plugin or 
like a max mine plugin we could check the location the physical location details like city and country right but we are going to do that we are going to install this plugin in the next video all right so for now is it thanks a lot for watching my videos if you guys like my videos uh subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed if you like just give me a like i like share it with your friends and see you guys on the next video